Hi everyone, so let's have a look at how to effectively create a powerful end to an essay by looking at some techniques and tips to develop essay conclusions effectively. So it's super important guys to start off your conclusion with the right words, the right choice of words to show the examiner that this final paragraph is where you're going to be summarizing your economic arguments and then making a very important concisely clear judgment to the question that has been given to you. Now one of the things to avoid guys is the following. In conclusion or in a summary as your sentence starter definitely avoid and I'm going to put a big fat no an X to that because that's not something that you should be doing as A-level students. So in conclusion or in summary, if you've got used to the habit of writing this as your first sentence, not a strong way to start your conclusion. So let's find out what is effectively a really good start to the conclusion. So as we know guys, in the conclusion, you have to summarize both your points that you have developed, your four versus against the argument in the conclusion, right? And one of the best ways to do this is to use the following words as the sentence starter or the conclusion starter in the conclusion itself. So something like on the balance of both economic arguments. Really good way to start your conclusion by showing the examiner this after the arguments that you've developed, the for versus against arguments, you're now going to balance. You, you're now going to have a look at a balanced perspective and then you're going to make a judgment, of course, which comes later. Now, remember in the conclusion, guys, after you've started this, remember your focus is going to be to summarize both the points. So the points that you've made, you have to summarize that, but also you state the evaluative points on both of them. So you're showing the balance and evaluation in your conclusion. In the conclusion, you state your points for versus against with your evaluative points, right? So you make it very clear in the conclusion that you have assessed and evaluated both your economic arguments, right? And you make that very clear at the beginning. So you're kind of summarizing your arguments thus far. And thereafter, crucially, once you've you know started off your sentence with the balance of both arguments, it is clear that this point is so and so. And then you evaluate that and you, you make a statement of evaluation, not literally repeating everything from what you've done so far in the economic argument. But then you balance, counterbalance it as well and you show the other side and you summarize the other side of the argument. So, for example, you have your summary of your point for and then the evaluation on that. OK, and then you have your summary of your point against and then you show the evaluation of that. But then right at the end, towards the end of your conclusion to this essay should be your judgment, right? What do you feel, right? This is where you come in. After assessing the economic cases and the arguments on both sides, how, what do you feel in terms of your judgment to the question? And this can be within the same paragraph, of course, in the conclusion where you start a new sentence and you make your judgment, essentially. And what is the best way to start your judgment? And one of the best ways I can advise is that you say ultimately, ultimately, so you balance your both arguments, you summarize both arguments, but then you say ultimately that the strongest economic case is so and so. So are you on the side of for or are you on the side of against? Because you have to make that judgment very clear in the conclusion. And that is another form of evaluation whereby you are suggesting an economic policy or an economic um, move that the government can or should do, right? And as a re and therefore, starting this sentence by saying, you know what, yes, I have assessed both, and ultimately, in my opinion, the strongest economic case is this. And so by okay. doing this, guys, you will be attaining very important, right, very important evaluation marks in the conclusion itself. And that's important to note, like students think, you know what, yeah, I've done my four verses against, I've evaluated throughout the essay, but maybe they don't do a conclusion. They think, you know, what they've banked and gained all the evaluative marks, but actually they've kind of not gained enough as they could have potentially. And what I mean by this is that if they add in a effective conclusion at the end, um, not by the way, a few sentences and that's it, you know, no, you have to make, show evaluation throughout with a clear and concise judgment to the question. And remember guys, when you are making that judgment and you, in your conclusion, when you are you know, showing the both sides of the arguments, summarizing those arguments and then making a judgment, 
Try and of course use those keywords in the question to supplement and make your conclusion even stronger because that way you're showing the examiner your the linkage the link from your conclusion back to the question and that's absolutely um, what you should be doing because it shows consistency throughout your essay that you are linking back to the question itself so guys with that hopefully now you can definitely use some of these tips going forward to put them into a paragraph a final paragraph which is effective enough to, of course, you know, come to a judgment, but also show a good balance of arguments. And then you make your conclusive judgment towards uh, the end. And with that, guys, thank you for watching and all the very best.